is 1 by 4 1 by 4 cos x minus cos 3x this is the rough calculation so first express this sin square x into cos x in this form that is this is the addition or subtraction of the terms of the type sin ax cos ax so this 1 by 4 16 by 4 1 by d square plus 1 cos x minus cos 3x that is equal to 4 1 by d square plus 1 cos x split in two parts minus 1 by d square plus 1 cos 3x okay the next step 4 and uh, if you replace d square by minus 1 that is minus a square a is 1 then we have answer 0 so for this factor apply rule what is the rule as 1 by d square plus a square cos ax is what minus uh, plus x by 2a sin ax and for this factor apply rule 1 by fd square cos ax is what f of uh, 1 by f of minus a square cos ax so when we use this rule, if f of minus a square is not equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, then use the first rule that 1 by d square plus a square. Here, we have x by 2 into a sin x. Cos x is replaced by sin x. Minus 1 by, replace this d square by minus 9 plus 1. And this uh, cos 3x remains as it is. Don't write sin 3x. When we, we uh, replace sin by cos, if the rule is 1 by d square plus a square. But if the rule is 1 by fd square, then sin rem remains sin, cos remains cos. So note these things. And so we have answer 4 in bracket x by 2 sin x minus 1 by 8 cos 3x multiply by this 4 in bracket so 2x sin x minus One by two cos three x. Replace this. Here is minus nine. So here we have minus one by eight. Minus nine plus one minus eight by. So minus minus become plus. So the answer is what? Two x sin x plus one half cos three x. And therefore the general solution is what? Y is equal to complementary function. C one cos x plus C two sin x plus 2x sin x plus 1 half cos 3x in same way solve this exercise problem d cube y by dx cube plus y 4 cos cube x so replace this cos cube x cos cube x is what cos x into cos x into cos x first Express this cos x into cos x in addition of two terms and then multiply by cos x and again apply the rules of conversion of multiplication to addition. These rules. So, this is about the type sin x and cos x. Next type or next method to solve the method number 5 to solve the non-homogeneous differential equation in which 
Qx is of this form. Qx is e raised to xv, where v is any function of x. V is any function of x. Okay. So, prove that. One theorem, prove that. 1 by yabdi e raised to axv is equal to e raised to x 1 by f of d plus av. So, proof of this rule 1 by fd e raised to xv is equal to e raised to x 1 by d f of d plus av. So, f d y is equal to qx is the given is non homogeneous. Differential equation where FD is what? We know that FD is what? D raised to N plus A1 D raised to N minus 1. Write the coefficient of D raised to N as A0 or 1. A2 D raised to N minus 2 and so on. AN minus 1 D plus AN. This is FD. We know this. Uh, this is polynomial in D. And Qx is what? E raised to Axv. So we have E raised to X is equal to E raised to X. Derivative of E raised to Axv into V is E raised to X into V. This is first equation. D of E raised to Axv. Here E raised to X is the function of X. V is also function of X. So apply we have to find the d of this means derivative of this quantity. Apply u into v rule. So e raised to x dv derivative of v plus v that is this quantity v derivative of e raised to x is what e raised to x into a. And so we have e raised to x d take this e raised to x common in the left side but v take this v common to right side. So, d plus a v. So, take this v common but to the right side and this e raised to x to the left side because this d is the derivative term. So, you cannot shift this v to left or we cannot shift e raised to x to right. So, take this e raised to x left common but to left and this v to the right of the bracket then d square e raised to x v that is d of d of this quantity e raised to x dv plus a e raised to x v this is the d derivative of e raised to x v so again find its derivative so here this e raised to x and dv these two are the the, there are two terms. So, apply u into v rule e raised to x derivative of dv is d square v plus dv as it is and e raised to x derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into v e raised to x right this e raised to x derivative of e raised to x is what a e raised to x into a dv term as it is so, by using u into v rule, this is u, this is v. So, u derivative of v, that is derivative of dv is d square v, dv, that is this term v as it is, and derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x into a. Plus, a is constant quantity, and derivative of e raised to d of e raised to x, v is what? e raised to x dv, plus a into e raised to x. This is derivative of e raised to x into v as it is. So, we have e raised to x d square v. Then this term a e raised to x dv multiplied by a a e raised to x dv plus a square e raised to x v. That is what? e raised to x d square v plus 2 times a e raised to x dv these two terms addition of these two terms 
plus a square e raised to ax b and so take this e raised to x common to left side and this v to right side so d square plus 2ad plus a square and the value of this bracket is what d plus a square v so d square similarly what is d cube e raised to ax similarly d cube e raised to x v is e raised to ax d plus a cube v in this way d raised to n minus 1 e raised to x v is e raised to x d plus a raised to n minus v and the d raised to n e raised to x v is e raised to x d plus a raised to n v so multiplying the above equations by a n a n minus 1 a n minus 2 in this way a 1 1 if the coefficient of d raised to n is a naught here if the coefficient of a raised to uh, d raised to n is a naught then write the last uh, a in the place of 1 we write a naught and adding so we get so to the first equation this equation multiply by a n to the second equation this is second equation multiply by a n minus 1 in this way to last equation this is last equation multiply by 1 this to the second last equation multiply by a 1 so we have we add this equations in reverse way that is this last equation what is that d raised to n d raised to n e raised to ax b this term multiply this equation by this equation by 1 then this is into a1 so what do we have a1 d raised to n minus 1 e raised to ax b this into a1 in this way this equation into a n minus 1 so what we have this equation into a n minus 1 so plus so on what do we have a n minus 1 d e raised to a x b a n minus 1 into this and this equation into a n so plus a n e raised to a x b so this is the addition of LHS then addition of RHS so this equation last equation multiply by e rest uh, 1 so e rest to x d plus a rest to n v this term into 1 then this term into a 1 so what do we have a 1 e rest to a x d plus a rest to n minus v plus so on in this way this term e raised to a x that is second equation e raised to x d plus a v multiply by a n minus 1 so plus a n minus 1 e raised to a x d plus a v this term right side of this equation second equation into a n minus 1 and this is the first equation this e raised to x into v multiply by a m so e raised to a x v so we have this then next step take this e raised to a x v as a common factor but to the right side d we have this d is to n a1 d is to n minus 1 
plus so on a n minus 1 t plus a n in bracket then is equal to like, like this e raised to x as a common factor but to the left and take this v as a common factor to the right so what do you have in bracket d plus a raised to n right this is square bracket d plus a raised to n plus a1 d plus a raised to n minus 1 plus so on a n minus 1 d plus a this term plus a n and this bracket is what this is f d e raised to x v is equal to e raised to x and this is what I log this bracket is f of d plus a if we replace in f d d by d plus a then we have this v and this implies 1 by f d e raised to a x v is equal to e raised to x 1 by f of d plus a v so this is star so from this step we have this step and this is final answer but we have to write justification for this step that is from star we have this so apply fd on both sides of the above step what we have fd 1 by fd e raised to axv is equal to fd e raised to x 1 by f of d plus av so fd and fd cancel to each other we have this and then the rule, apply the rule fd this this star equations fd e raised to x this is e raised to x v this whole is the v so by using the step star we have e raised to x by using this step star e raised to x this term f of d plus a v v is this 1 by f of d plus a v so this is by using star and this is e raised to x again f, f of d plus a f of d plus a get cancelled so we have e raised to x is equal to a raised to x and this is the justification to this step from star we have this and this is the final answer of the theorem.